In this video, we will show you how to fix blue screen of death stop error 0x800-700-7042C. The error 0x800-700-7042C occurs when your system's firewall has been disabled. It might also occur if your system will not start or is infected by malware. To troubleshoot the problem, boot your system by selecting the Safe Mode with Networking option. This option will allow you to access the internet while working in Safe Mode. When the system loads, open up any browser and download the Microsoft Safety Scanner from the official Microsoft website. Once the download is completed, run the Safety Scanner. As a result, the Safety Scanner window will open up. Accept the License Agreement and click on the Next button. In the Scan Type option, select the Full Scan option and click on the Next button before you click on the Next button. With that done, the scanning of your entire PC will begin. It will take some time to complete the entire process. When the scan completes, you'll see that it will inform you about the potentially unwanted software found. Over here, click on the View Potentially Unwanted Software. For the purpose of this tutorial, hacktoll colon 32 slash wpakill.b was found on our system. You can remove any such unwanted software by ticking its checkbox before clicking on the OK button. You will return back to the previous window. Over here, click on the Next button to remove the potentially unwanted software. With that done, you will be informed that the malware has been removed. Click on the Finish button to exit the Safety Scanner window. Now restart your Windows, and you'll notice while booting, there is no blue screen of death stop error anymore. Once you've successfully opened the system in normal mode, click on the network icon available in the notification area. Over there, click on the Open Network and Sharing Center. In the new window, click on the Windows Firewall option located on the bottom left corner of the window. Once the firewall opens up, click on the Turn Windows Firewall On or Off option available in the left pane. Now turn on the firewall for home or work and public network location settings before you click on the OK button. In this manner, your firewall will be reactivated. And that's it. 